Monkey 1000, and today is the, kind of a second part of yesterday on the apple cinnamon video that I did because I did two desserts, and the other dessert was the banana ice cream, um, which you had to wait 24 hours for it to freeze, and now we have a frozen. I have it here. It's in the baggie right here, and we're going to take it out, and we're going to put it in a bowl, and we're going to test it see how it is. So I'm going to bring it down here. There we go. You can see my bowl there. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here and we're going to test it out. See how it is like. My mother ate all the apple cinnamon. She really liked it. She was quite pleased with it. She said the only thing was missing, she said she wanted whipped cream on top. Which we can have whipped cream because it's all fat, it's not full of sugar, so you can have a little bit on top of stuff. In fact, they encourage you to use whipped cream for your coffee creamer instead of buying cream. Because a lot of those creams have a lot of sugar in them. So I'm slowly trying to get it out of here so we can eat it without the plastic here. Still a little frozen, hard frozen, so. Yeah. so here we go. To break it up a little bit. There. There's quite a bit in here. I'm taking the whole thing out and I'm gonna give her some and let her try it. Okay? So there it is. That's that whole bag there. So I mean you could break this up. There's probably I could probably put them in small little cups and have about three of dishes out of that. Um, you know, so I'm going to eat part of it and I'll give the other part to my mom. I'm just wiping my hands. And uh, I'm here to try it and then I'll give her some after the video. So let's try this and see. It looks good. Now, I would use a blender if you had one instead of what I did. I mean, I used the mixer. It seemed to work. But, um... You know, I just don't have a blender right now. So, it's still really hard. So it's hard to break it up a little bit. So, anyways, let's set, we'll set this here for a few minutes and let it thaw. I'm gonna tell you a, a couple of things today to go with this video. So, um, yeah. So today we went and we had to get um, our prop fixed. So I had sent it in. We went down to the road here, and we went and we went to the marina down the road. So he um, took it, and he said, "Well, it got. Ha we take these props that go somewhere else. So we mail them off. They send them back, and sometimes they fix them, or sometimes if it costs too much, then they will they will send you a new one. So you'll have a brand new one." So we told him, well, we wanted to know what the cost of a brand new one would be because he knew already, Shea Bear did, knew already what the cost was going to be online. So we didn't want it to cost more than that or we would just buy it online. So he was supposed to call me uh, a week ago, Friday. So no, nobody ever called me. And I worked all day that day, so I was busy. So I figured, well, I'll catch him. You know, maybe he'll call me Monday never called me Monday. Tuesday I worked and I was like well if I don't hear from him today I will call Wednesday. So I did. I called on Wednesday and um, this past Wednesday we just passed and uh, I talked to uh, the owner and um, the owner told me that the guy that worked for him um, passed away. They found him on the ground inside the shop dead. So um, he said he didn't know what my prop was and that they were supposed to deliver it on the Tuesday and nobody was there because they found him gone, uh, I guess on that Tuesday. So um, it was closed and they did not, um, they didn't deliver it that day. So there were a next delivery was gonna be Thursday, he said. And I had called him on the Wednesday. So I got, I think, did I call him Thursday? I think I did call him on Thursday. And he said they hadn't come in yet. 
So I was going to be busy the Friday, so I knew I couldn't go there again. So I said, well, I'll have to wait until the Monday and I will give you a call and I'll try to come and get it. But he never would, could give me a price, you know, on this prop. So anyways, we um, went in today. I called him and um, we ran down there because it was, the owner doesn't stay there. I take it the, the guy that passed away basically ran the whole place all the time. This guy came and went. He didn't care to be there. He doesn't want to be there. Um, the way he acts, he, he doesn't even want to run the business. He, he, he doesn't want to do anything with it, really. So because of this other guy helping him, that he just basically let the other guy run it. So... Um, Anyway, so we went in there and we started talking to him and I told him I'm sorry for your loss, you know. And he said, yeah, he died right where you're standing. And I'm like, oh, nice. So I said, well, I guess you got, now you, I, I said, I guess you have a haunting building now. And he said, oh yeah, his eyes got real big. And I said, Shea Bear's a paranormal. And his eyes even got bigger. So I said to him, um, so he's told me, yeah, he said, this isn't the first time that someone has died in here. And I said, oh, really? He said, yeah, somebody died. And he gets up off his chair and he pointed outside on the corner of the building. Where, and he said, somebody passed away out front outside. And he didn't get, he was getting ready to tell us a little bit more. And we're like, oh, my God, you know. So, um, as he's saying this, somebody else, a customer, came in. So, he couldn't tell us anymore. So, we had to leave. So, we didn't get no more information on that. But uh, Shea Bear wants to go back and, and see if he'll talk. And if we can maybe do a paranormal there. He might let us do something there. And um, so... We'll try to see if he heal at us. He, it would be very interesting if we can do one. So, but two people have died there. So that's a little eerie. And, and of course, we're standing where the body was. And I'm oh like, oh, this doesn't feel too good. Now, I had a chill up my neck when, when he said that. But I also had a fan behind me. So it could have been the fan that gave me the chill and not anything else. But, yeah, it was a little nerve-wracking. Anyways, let's see if we can get the ice cream. It is slowly melting a little bit, so let's try and see if I can get a taste out of it. And that was my story. I thought that was interesting. And Shaber1000 has um, done a video early about the props, so he said it on there, too. So... If you want to go and check that out, just go to Shaber1000 and check out his videos. Alright, let's see if I can get a good chunk here. It's still pretty hard. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Mm. That's not bad. And you could probably take a little piece or a scoop of this, you know. I think the next time I'm, I do this... I'm going to make it more of a, of a ball and, and make it more like a ball. Make a couple of them because when, they're, when it's not frozen, I, I got more control. So, And then that way, all I have to do is roll the ball out onto the plate. And you could put like the apple cinnamon recipe that I did, which I'll put back on at the end of this video. So you guys that didn't see it, can click on it and see see that one too so um yeah so i thought that was a very interesting story and i thought we would share that with y'all and yeah mm. yeah tastes like banana frozen basically that's pretty good i make that again yeah might make you yeah, a little thirsty though but um yeah so that gives you some kind of an ice cream without, you know, not having to, to buy the ice cream. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed my video and my story today. And I have many more videos coming, so stay tuned. So, we're glad we got, we ended up getting the new prop. We didn't, um, we also got the old one, but um, we bought the new one. And it cost us about 60 bucks, so we did pretty good. 
I think, for, for the prop. So I was just scared that we'd never see it again because he kept, you know, he never called me back. I had to call him and, and he was never at the shop. He was always making all these excuses, which worried me a little bit, but we finally got through it. So I'm glad we got it over with. So anyways, Monkey says she's out for now. I'm gonna give some of this to my mother and see if she likes it. And stay tuned. Uh, have a great rest of the week if I don't get another video up. I'm hoping maybe, maybe Wednesday we might go out on the boat just to jaunt around. We did not get it painted because of the rain. Um, we're going to try hopefully for next weekend. But we have the paint and everything. So when, as soon as all this rain stops, then we'll be able to start painting it. And I'm going to paint and we'll do the videos on that. So that'll be cool. All right. So Monkey says she's out for now. Bye.